Kelsey Dickerson here with SuperheroFaces.com. We're at a special meet and greet today with Dave Pilkey, the author and illustrator of the Captain Underpants series. Let's see what his motivation is behind writing this special book for children. All right, so you've mentioned before that you're not just writing the Captain Underpants series for kids, you're also writing it for your inner kid. Um, what do you think, what continues to motivate you to write these stories? Well, certainly, you know, the, the little kids out there. We, I'm about to give a presentation to uh, a packed house, and, and I love the laughter of the kids, the enthusiasm from the kids. You know, it's nice because Captain Underpants has been around almost 20 years, and kids still like it. And so, um, but also, it's kind of a way for me to look back at my past and turn some things around. I had a bunch of bad experiences as a kid, and I'm trying to redo them and, and put a positive spin on everything. Um, so you mentioned that you've had kind of a rough childhood. Do you think this helps other kids that have gone through similar things as you, the story? Does it help them get through those tough times? I hope so, because um, I had ADHD as a kid, and so the two main protagonists of Captain Underpants also have ADHD, and I was, I was hoping that maybe kids who are going through similar experiences might read Captain Underpants, see those kids, see that they're funny, they're creative, they're happy, they're brave, they're loyal, they're, you know, they're good friends, and, and um, maybe the kids who read it won't feel so alone. Speaking of George and Harold, um, what do you think it is that strikes such a chord with little kids and adults um, in these characters? I think that kids really respond to the friendship. I mean, these are two kids, you know, sometimes you'll see a buddy movie and halfway through the movie they, they, they stop being friends and then they become friends again at the end. George and Harold have never gone through that. They've always been friends. They've always had each other's back. And I think, I think kids really respond to that. So to, to actually have a friend who is always on your side is, is quite a valuable thing. Um, so you were a big comic fan growing up, especially Peanuts. Did you, uh, did you ever read any superhero comics? Surprisingly, no. I, I never read superhero comics. Um, I was basically read Peanuts and then newspaper cartoons. Um, is there any character in Peanuts in particular that uh, you can see in Captain Underpants? Oh, maybe not in Captain Underpants, but um, the, the character in Peanuts that I most relate to is Linus. I'm, I'm totally a Linus, and I, I think that George and Harold are kind of Linuses as well. Do you play the piano? Uh, oh, well, uh, Schroeder's the one who plays the piano. Oh, shoot! Yeah. <laughs> were, oh, man! Oh, how did I do that? Yeah. Good grief. Um, so it seems that uh, there's a lot of authority figures who kind of act as the antagonist in Captain Underpants. What do you think it is um, about them that everyone can relate to? Well, I think everyone can remember, especially kids, being a kid and going through a time where you feel powerless. You know, um, everyone's always telling you what to do and you can never get away with anything and people are always hounding you and stuff. So uh, the authority figures, they, they're not always the bad guys because George and Harold get along really well with their parents and their parents are quite strict with them. But it, at school, the authority figures are really the bad guys. They're really mean and they really, um, they just hound George and Harold all the time. So I think, I think everybody can kind of relate to being powerless like that. Uh, were you able to relate to that growing up? Oh yeah, yeah. I had super mean teachers and a lot of times people will ask me about Mr. Krupp, the principal of Captain Underpants, who is so mean and vicious and cruel, and they say, Do you did you have a principal like that? And my principal is even worse than that. Oh yeah. <laughs> but to be fair, he was a horrible, horrible person and I was wonderful. Yes, and we can see that you are very wonderful today. Um, so obviously, both adults and uh, children can be superheroes in your books. Uh, what do you think it is that everyone can relate to in Captain Underpants? What do you hope everyone can take away from it? Well, for me, it's all about the love of reading, to be honest. I want kids to, to open up a book and have a good time and laugh and, and then maybe get to the end and want to read another book. That's, that, I'm really trying to create a positive reading experience with kids. As always, thank you for watching. Make sure to tune in to SuperheroFaces.com for more exclusive content and superhero features in the future. Kelsey Underpants, out.